By this time last year, I was soaked in tears. Emotionally battered, my dreams had been murdered before my very eyes. My stars fell from the sky. The nights grew colder, and my heart beat slower. Enveloped by emptiness, and at the verge of numbness. The greatest challenge I think that most empaths face is not understanding their boundaries, not even knowing what boundaries are, when when to have them, if to have them, what it means, and again, it's because I've been really bad at this that I <laughs> now I feel like I finally learned my lessons uh, in in this regard. So. If you're empathic, it's it's like I said earlier, you usually want to give like this giant big hug to the world all the time. And you feel all these people around you and their emotions and you just want to help everyone. Um, and it leaves you very vulnerable to people that are not so well intentioned. But even beyond that, even, you know, put that aside, it's, it's, that it's okay to have boundaries, that it's okay for you to say, that's that's not okay for me, that's not right right now, I'm not gonna do that, it just doesn't feel right. No explanation needed. I got down on my knees, awaiting the time to flee. But somewhere within, something was breathing, something that defied death. With gentle but steady breath, an unquenchable fire, an insatiable desire in a soft but vivid whisper. Birds and answer, taking hold of my hands and helping me to stand. It says, dream again, and with the past, don't begin. Embrace the impossible, inside it lies the possible. If you are empathic, it's very likely that you're very sensitive. And when you're very sensitive, you're usually, you know, just a, a very, you feel other people's stuff, other people's emotions. And it almost feels wrong to have boundaries. But in fact, it's the opposite. When you do have boundaries, and you understand them, you understand what yours are, then you're able to help other people truly in a better, uh, more actually healing way. Um, and again, it's because I've been on the what not to do part that now I I know better. And it's, it's, a, it's a practice really all the time. I mean, some people have it down, but I, I'm not there yet, but I, you know, I'm in my mid 40s and I'm just getting there now. <laughs> but I think overall, a lot of the empathic people that I've met, they're, they're, they're in the same boat. When you're down to zero, be your first hero. Make your mistakes and out of them, create a mixtape. Write a new song, sing and go wrong. For when you think you failed, you were actually sorting out better skills to transform that quiet melody into an irresistible harmony. My heart is still beating, my head still thinking. I'm not sure about tomorrow, and from yesterday, I can't borrow. So I'm grateful for now, and I humbly bow for every moment given supersedes every moment anticipated. Or regret it. The only, the other thing is, is really just to know yourself. Is, you know, you're always so concerned with others and taking care of others and helping others and being in tune with others that you forget about yourself, um, or you feel that it's, you know, selfish to think of yourself and put yourself first. But it truly is. Put your mask on first, and then you help others. And that's really until I truly got that. I just, I felt very much, um, it can feel very heavy. And it's not meant to be that way. It's, it's not meant to be, being empathic is not something that's meant to 
feel heavy. It's meant to feel so that you're truly able to give from a full cup and you fill that cup first for yourself. And then you can truly help others and love them unconditionally the way we're meant to. Pandemic TV.